Hey everyone, Sam here again, and we're going to show you the Xbox Companion for Windows Phone. So, everyone's obviously you know heard about the iOS version of this application come out. Well, on the same day, they brought out the Xbox Companion for the Windows Phone operating system. So, we'll just give you a quick look what it looks like now. So, as you can see here, pop it up, and here it is. So, we'll jump out of it really quickly. And we'll go back in to show what it's all about. So here we go. Here's the Xbox company. So it'll boot up as per normal. And it will jump into that there. So it's now connected to my Xbox. And on here, it shows everything you need to know. So obviously you get you know your quick play. So you can press that. It'll jump straight into FIFA if the game is in the, obviously in the tray. You've got Black Ops, etc. So you know all your current recently games, you just basically jump straight into them. And go from there. And then got your feature content, so you can do right, you know, basically go right. Um, let's have a look at Super 8. So as I've pressed that now, obviously it brings it all the stuff here. And then look, you play in your console, you can purchase from Zoom Video. So you can do everything you would be able to do normally. Um, instead of it actually being on your Xbox, you can do it all within the application here. So we'll just see if I can zoom in a little bit for you here. Obviously, you've got your overview, then you can see your cast and your crew, etc. You know, relates and you go, oh, what's called the Barbarian? That sounds pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's purchase that. So, you can then purchase that on the actual application within the phone. So, we'll just jump back out of those really quickly. You can then do your Bing search. So, you can you know, obviously search for Harry Potter, whatever it may want to be. So, let's say we search for Halo, because it's a pretty popular one. So it's like, oh look, these are all the things that are currently you know, you can get for the Xbox. So you can go like, um, well, let's have a quick look. Let's have a look at the Halo Waypoint, what's that all about? And look, oh, playing your console. So basically you can click that. And what it is now, it's hard to see. It's brought a bit, basically brought up obviously the D-pad on here. And what I'll see if I can try and show you now is what it looks like, obviously, you know, on the console. So bear with me for a second or two and we shall come right back to you. Right, so I do apologize for the actual flicker of the screen. Um, I've tried to fix it, but there's not much I can really do to actually fix that. So as we saw there, with the Xbox companion here, which we'll try and show you, as you can see on the actual Xbox, it's like, right, yep, free to download. So then on the actual companion, you can go, yep. Say, right, I wanna download it. Brings up obviously all your normal terms, blah de blah. And go, yep. Confirm download. And then boom. Off you go. So basically you can control your Xbox completely, effectively, through this actual application here. So obviously you've got your three buttons there in the middle. Honestly, you've got your D-pad, so to speak. And off it's away. It's a download an actual console itself. So we'll just switch back to the other angle now two seconds all right so welcome back to here again so as you can see there you have got your base your full integration Oop, there we go so you jump back into it so if you can go you know you up down you know up down left and right a button you got your y you got x and your b which is pretty cool so basically you can use this as a remote control um so instead of using your xbox actual controller you can just control your whole xbox effectively um now obviously you can't really use it for your combat games like you know any really proper games but you know some basic games that you just kind of like up and down you can use this which I think is pretty damn cool the main reason why I'd use this is for using it for let's see, using it as a media center so you can use this for a complete you know to use this as your remote control which I think is a pretty damn cool option so let's jump back and we'll go back again so here we are we're back at the home so basically you can click home anytime it will bring you back to this to show you jump straight into that at any time so that's just been a quick look at the Xbox Companion for Windows Phone 7. If you've got any questions for guys, tweet you know what to do, hit me up down below. Ask me questions on Twitter, which is at Sam J. Pullum. Again, sorry for the bit of the fuzzy actual TV. Um, I tried all different settings. Um, I don't know why. It might be because it's a plasma. But yeah, it didn't want to want, didn't want to play a ball. But you get the idea of what it's all about. Anyway, people, I'm going to get off now. Again, any questions, leave them down below. All the good stuff, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. You kind of know by now, and if you're not subscribed, click that, click that subscribe button just above you, about here, I think, and click like, which is around about here.
Anyway, people, thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Cheers.